Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Erica. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I missed you. Today, I'm going to be reading stories about dates that have gone wrong or toxic relationships, toxic relationships, situationships, ex-boyfriends, whatever you want to call it. Cosas así, you know, like in general. I honestly hate that girls put up with shit like this you need to wake up yes you i did get so many messages so i think i might do a part two i don't know i'll see how this video goes hey girl this one is good lol it has a plot twist so i had an ex which at the beginning was begging me to be his girlfriend until i said yes Long story short, one day we were in a public transportation in Mexico, aka El Camion. When some girls got on, he was so disrespectful to look at them all the way, even smile at them, which bothered me and I said, what, you really would want me to be like them? I was just so angry and felt so disrespected. And upon arriving at my house, guess what? He was mad, girl. Like, what the fuck? And he said to me, You know when I said I wanted you to be like them? I said that with sarcasm. Girl, before I could say anything else, he said, Yeah, I would really want a girl like that. That was the end for me. I said goodbye and good luck. Then he was trying to get me back. While, on the other hand, had a girl pregnant, I would just say to him all the time, I am looking for someone else. You don't fit the standards of a guy I saw once. No, dude, because period. Periodo. I am so glad you dropped his ass because what the fuck? ¿Quién se cree que es? Telling you, yeah, I want you to be like them. That's so fucked up. I honestly hate, hate? Ugh. I hate when guys compare you to another girl. Not only does it feel like pinning women against each other, but I feel like it can fuck with your confidence heavily. Like it can make you so insecure. I had a boyfriend like that and he would fuck with my head so much. Like. He wouldn't make me feel like if I was so ugly. I am so glad I stood up for myself. And that's why you girls should too. Because do trust, anything is possible. Yo siempre pensaba, este pendejo. He's gonna regret all of this one day. And he would put me down for my videos. But I was just like, <laughs> salí con la mía. Like I really had the last laugh. <laughs> I'm dead because I really did. I really fucking did. And it's possible for you too. Serio pedo. I bought some tickets to see my favorite Chicano rapper. And my man didn't want to go. So I went because I wasn't going to have the tickets go to waste. And he kept leaving me on scene. So I went to the bar after and I ran into a girl at the bar. Oh my god, don't tell me she busted the hey babes or hey love, or hey girly. And she's like, oh my God, you're so pretty. Add me on Instagram. And she opened the app. And I saw she was texting my man. <gasps> y me hice pendeja. And I was like, girl, how do you know him? She's like, girl, we be on the low, but he has a girl. I don't know who she is, but don't say anything. And she's like, how do you know him? And I'm like, crazy thing, you won't believe me. I'm the girlfriend. And she's like, girl, I'm so sorry. He's a hoe and he ain't the one. And instead of fighting her, I took a picture with her and sent it to him. I was like, look, I found your little girlfriend. And this man called me so quick, gaslighting me, talking about don't listen to her. She's lying to you. He pulls up to my house and the next day we get into it because he was supposed to meet my parents. And we fought. The next morning, I was blocked. No, pues la neta te hizo el favor for blocking you. Because why would you want a man like that? I don't know if it's just me, but I find it kind of weird that the girl would open the Instagram app 
y que tenga los mensajes ahí de tu exnovio. I don't know if I'm tripping. You guys think she did it on purpose? Because a part of me Loki thinks that. Like she was being sneaky too. Oh, and that's what sucks, dude. You don't know when girls are being real sometimes too. And I know I shouldn't be... I hate to say things like this because as girls we should support each other fully. But then... También hay unas que están con sus mamadas. A mí me ha pasado. Se la tiran de muy, ah, oh, you're beautiful, he ain't the one. Y bajita la llave, they want that man, even though he's trash. On my third, last Tinder date, this guy took me out for a smoothie. And afterwards, we walked around the park. Up until the sun went down. Once it got dark, he walked me to my car and gave me a kiss. Girl, we talked for like three hours. So obviously, I was happy as fuck. Until five seconds later, this dude says, Oh my, you taste so good. Pulled me in close and whispered in my ear. I wonder how good your ins must be. Girl, mind you, I was alone in a dark parking lot with this guy. My dumbass was saved by a call from my mom, yelling at me to get my ass home now. I told him I had to go and he grabbed my hand and asked if he would see me again. I lied and said yes and drove home. I learned my lesson and know that deep down my mom's telepathy saved my life. What was the point of him saying that? That's some dammer shit. I don't know what I would have done in that situation. Si me hubiera ido en putiza corriendo. Or if I would try to keep my cool and then slowly leave. I went on a date with this guy and I hated his perfume. Pero me aguante. And we went to the gym together. And he went to change a su cuarto and then came back to the truck. And he put more perfume on. El olor was worse. <laughs> I know, dude. Porque cuando un perfume no te gusta, that's the worst. Damn, I'm just imagining that. I wonder if you felt like gagging the whole time. Porque hay unos que hasta dan asco. No aguantas el olor de a tiro. So I have a feeling it was one of those moments. My hubby cheated on me with my best friend. And I stayed. A bad date I had was this guy that threw up on our way to the movies at a red stop light. Oh my god. That's literally my worst fear because I have a phobia of throw up. I had to message this girl, this poor girl, because baby, I am so sorry you went through that. I am so, so, so sorry. I had to message her and ask her, about what happened after, porque me quedé picada, like, what do you do at that point? And she said, well, the guy kept apologizing, and I just looked the other way to not see or smell anything. And I was like, it's okay. Damn, you're so nice for that. And he had already bought the movie tickets, which was Five Nights at Freddy's. So he parked and changed his shirt and put on a new sweater. He was like, it's probably what I ate at Starbucks. At the end of the date, he did try to kiss me. And it doesn't stop there because the next time we tried meeting up, he also threw up. And then I told her this, you guys can pause it to read it. Guys, I came through to get the full story. And she said, yeah, and I just turned away. And the second time, I was just at the mall parking lot with him because he was about to clock in to work. And he just goes, I feel sick again. And so I just left him there throwing up again. He just sat in his car and threw up outside. Outside of the door and yeah, but people were like, I think he's allergic to you. I think he even told me. No mames, dude, I feel so bad. For the guy too, Loki, because I don't know, dude, lo que yo... Lo que yo me imagino is that what if he gets so nervous that he feels like throwing up? It does sound like he's allergic to you, honestly. But even if he changed his shirt, I would have been like, hell no, you got me fucked up. You better go home and shower 
and brush your teeth. I'm sorry, I probably need to chill, but I'm just extra like that when it comes to throw up. These stories were crazy, and I just wanna say this and put it out there that you guys deserve the best. So please, don't be doing charity work, talking to people that ain't shit. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can get notified for the next time I post. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!